Uh, I would like to welcome to the show Sarkis Michaelis. Sarkis is a former professional Australian ballet dancer with Australian Ballet, personal trainer and Pilates instructor. Today he's going to talk to me about core stability and fitness for pregnancy and post-pregnancy. Welcome, Sarkis. Thank you for having me on. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, I think this is a really great topic for a lot of women would be interested in it because pregnancy takes such a heavy toll on our bodies, especially our pelvic floor, and it's hard to know how to keep in shape properly in a safe manner when we're pregnant to, just for our baby and for ourselves. Yeah, that's right. So to start with, what exactly, because we always hear about core stability, yep. you know, that that's important for Pilates and everything. So what is it and why should we be concerned about it? Uh, core stability, um, it's many things to many people. Some people say it revolves around the middle of your midsection. Other people say it revolves underneath you. It's all encompassing. So it's basically your pelvic floor, which is underneath you, mm-hmm. your transverse abdominis, which is the deepest of the four abdominal muscles, and all the abdominals on top of that. So you need to work deep yeah. to get everything strong on top. Yeah. And so it's, it's kind of hard to do, but once you master it, it's actually really good for you because it keeps your spines um, strong and everything else from there just extends out. Yeah, that makes sense. And so why is it particularly so important when you're pregnant? Well, it keeps your pelvis stable mm-hmm. during pregnancy. Also... Is that why we're sorry? Is that why some of us get kind of bad backs and things while we're pregnant? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. That's exactly right. So the pelvis starts to spread when you're pregnant, obviously. Yeah. So the birthing canal can open up. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so you need to keep all those muscles, right. not just the pelvic floor, but also uh, your rotation muscles in your hips, mm. your inside thigh muscles and your glutes and your lower back as well. Mm. So keep all that strong and it'll help you in the long run. Does that help all our, you know, a uterus to stay in there at the end, you know, <laughs> or is that, is that a bit beyond you? <laughs> yes, it does. Absolutely does. Look, if you start Pilates from uh, before you're pregnant or even during pregnancy, mm. it's always going to tone up no matter what you do. Yeah. So, I mean, if you do nothing, I mean, some girls are lucky they don't have to do anything, but most yeah. you do have to get in there and strengthen those muscles up because after pregnancy, it's all so exposed. Yeah. Loose, I guess. Yeah. And uh, you need to... So if you've worked all those muscles pre, mm. if you work all those muscles pre, it's, it's going to be better you for you. After, that's exactly so, right. So, you know, if we're, I'm thinking of getting pregnant, uh, I should be considering it leading up to... Yeah, that's exactly conception. right. That's absolutely. Be a lot better. Yeah, absolutely. Can I start when I am pregnant? Is that is there something bad about that? No, you can start at any time. Any yeah. time's a good time. I mean, I've had clients that have come to me halfway through and I've helped mm. them through whatever issues they've had with their pelvis and they've had a yeah. great pregnancy afterwards. So, yeah, any time's a good time. Because I know it could be so hard when, you know, when I was pregnant, suddenly I felt like I couldn't walk, you know, and I wasn't even that big yet. So, yeah, right. you know, and, and I did Pilates and things like that and that all helped and mm-hmm, going mm-hmm. to a physio and yeah. everything like that. Yeah. How often should we be doing Pilates? It depends on the person, how much time they have, how much money you have. Mm. I recommend about two to three times a week if you can afford it and if you can, if you've got that time to do it. Yeah. Once a week, you know, just scratching the surface really. But, you know, if ladies are doing other exercises on top of that, then that's perfect. So if they're doing their own um, preggy bellies course or some PT on top of their Pilates, then... That's all perfect. I think that's the hard thing with Pilates because it is quite quite expensive to get classes. Yeah, it is. It is. Depends on where you go, though. I mean, I'm relatively cheap. Yeah. Um, other so people are quite expensive. Yeah. And it depends it, on who you go see and the suburbs you go you go to as well. Yeah. That's going to differ as well. Well, that that's true because I know I would have loved to have done it a few times a week, but to spend, you know, whatever a week by times you times it by three, you yeah, know, that's right. it's, it's, it gets quite expensive. Absolutely does. But there's obviously probably exercises people could do at home as well that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. doctors can give. Definitely, definitely. I mean, there's a whole range of exercises that I'd give my um, pregnant ladies. Mm. You've just got to make sure that they're doing them correctly, breathing yeah. the right way. Because, I mean, if you don't engage the muscles in the right way, you can be actually bearing down on your pelvis, yeah. which will entail, which will lead to not bad things happening, but it won't be the correct way of exercising those muscles. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it'll be harder in the long run to pull them back up again. And so what kind of exercises, What is this, Is there certain things we should be avoiding when we're pregnant? Depends on what stage of pregnancy. At the start, mm. not really. During, in the middle, once you start to show, then you should probably cut out a lot of crunching exercises, like sit-up exercises. So I don't yeah. give any of my clients any of that kind of stuff. Okay. Other than that, nothing on your front, obviously. Like, we'd never lay on your front. Mm. to do any back exercise or anything like that. So you've got to yeah. always modify those kinds of exercises for them. Yeah. And that's about it, really. And is it is it important? Because, I mean, a lot of people obviously 
kind of get pregnant and they just want to eat and sit around. Is it important for us to be exercising? Oh, pregnant? definitely, definitely. I mean, it's going to help you in the long run yeah. to recover um, quicker after you've given birth mm. as opposed to someone that's just sedentary, sits around, does nothing. Yeah. Of course, you have to exercise. I mean, it's going to give a, be a healthier you in the end. Yeah, and it can, it can be really difficult, I know, because once you've got a baby, you're so consumed by that that, yeah. you know, it, it'll probably be a long time between exercising. Yeah, that's exactly leave, right. It, isn't it, and you probably pregnant? don't want to do anything afterwards anyway. No, no. Except for changing nappies and feeding. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do it, but you kind of have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so do you know how long after we actually give birth should we wait until we exercise again? I would leave that up to the health professional. So you'd probably go back to your obstetrician or nurse or whoever you see and that would give you a good timeline of when you can come back yeah that i'm not too sure i mean i might say three three to four weeks i guess or something like depending. that and depending and i suppose the doctor probably normally tells you yeah that's right when it's okay if that's you right. haven't had a caesar or yeah well you've got to wait six weeks because they're cutting through muscle and any operation like that you do have to wait yeah for the muscle to repair again and so how did um fiona was asking before we started how how did a male get into being such an expert in in <laughs> Hardly women's an expert. issues <laughs> well i mean i've had a lot of uh, female clients come to me for pre and postnatal pilates yeah it just happened over time really i mean i don't have any at the moment but uh, last year i had a good friend of mine louise that came to me for a good six six months yeah before she um gave birth and she loved it it was great exercise for her she got a lot out of it i strengthened her up and her pregnancy was great and does it make a difference to in the actual labor process in terms of that strength and course i guess it would yeah absolutely yeah. you'll have much more control of your muscles and to push and relax and <laughs> get everything through yeah i think uh, this is fiona speaking i think that one of the things people tend to forget is labor is a hell of a workout yeah well, that's, and absolutely. really you want to be in great shape because um you, you not only have you got to go through that but then you've got an endurance test bringing up that baby for the first year not that i know but <laughs> you've yes. seen it i've seen it <laughs> you can imagine i've got a question for you i don't know if this is true or not someone told me that it's harder to orgasm if you have a weak pelvic floor <laughs> i don't know you don't know? Is that, I don't know if it's a wife's hell or not. <laughs> I really don't know the answer to that question. I mean, possibly. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Well, <laughs> someone told me that and I thought, oh, I better start doing my pelvic floor exercises. I guess it'd be it. better from a, on a male's point of view if you were tighter up through there. But <laughs> <laughs> whoops. Yeah, I said that. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. 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 We're okay. last Jenny Mears. We'll go to the you see why I didn't, teacher on I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask him that question before we started. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little red face, haven't I? <laughs> so, if people would love to do some personal training with you or Pilates yep. or things like that, um, yep. where can they? Find I'm located in Port Melbourne. My uh, the website's called Fitness From Within. My email is sarkis s a k i s at fitnessfromwithin.com.au. Cool. So yeah. And and just to, you know to finish off, what what would be sort of the main things people women should be doing if they if they're pregnant to keep themselves you know strong and healthy? Is there stuff they can do at home or? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a whole range of DVDs out there that they can use mm. to watch to um, improve their core stability and stuff. Go for a walk. Yeah, important to keep moving. And yeah, totally. Yeah. Don't be sedentary. That's the worst thing you can do for yourself because everything will just start to won't feel good after a while. Yeah. Your back will get sore. Your sides will get sore. So you just need to make sure that you're really strong all the way through. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking Thanks to for me today. Thanks for having me on. My-